Hello, hi. This is Jerusalem Jane. I just wanted to make a small video because Shabbat is just around the corner. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Jerusalem. The weather is really going back to full sunshine and warmth again, so it's wonderful. And uh, I can smell that my neighbor is making challah here for Shabbat. And uh, it's just, I love Shabbat and for this time of, this time of week. And I got to go do a few shoppings, uh, th things to buy before Shabbat. But listen, I just wanted to share with you what happened uh, because I had such a peculiar peculiar day yesterday that I wanted to share. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, it actually started by me waking up with a horrible, horrible headache. And uh, so I, after a while, I decided I need to get out and just, uh, you know, I took a couple of pills and I was like, I need to get out in the sun and just feel the sun in my face and to breathe a little bit. So I went down to my new hangout place. Uh, that's actually Damascus Gate. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Uh, so uh, arriving at Damascus Gate, there is a lot of police. Uh, there is now actually police all the time because of the terrorist attacks, uh, big border police officers, but uh, there was also a lot of other police there having a meeting. So, and they look kind of important guys. So probably some buses within the police was just down there discussing how maybe they can improve security. I don't know. But anyway, I go down and uh, I sit down on one of the benches and just for an hour, just sitting, you know, uh, sitting in the sun, just feeling the sun in my face and just observing what's going on at Damascus Gate. And uh, the police are down there and they have made a little area now where they are behind barriers. So, you know, terrorists can't just jump out of the, you know, behind someone and just start stabbing them. They are protected by that. So I was just sitting there ex observing, enjoying and uh, saw this news crew interviewing people and and all of a sudden, these big uh, horses with the police on horses came down the stairs. I made a small video and I posted it yesterday. Uh, then some uh, young people came and, and sat down on the stairs. And uh, the police were saying, you know, you can't sit there. You move, move. And uh, I'm sitting there on the bench. And there's a, a, a photographer there with a big cameras. And I said, uh, is nobody allowed to sit on the stairs? And he said, no, uh, the police are afraid. And I said, but we can sit here, right? And he said, yeah, you can sit here because they think you're a reporter. Only reporters sit up here. And I was like, what? Are you kidding? Only, I'm not a reporter. I don't have a big camera or anything. So that was kind of funny. But anyway, I was allowed to sit there. And uh, I made my videos. And, and then I went uh, from Damascus Gate into uh, one of the Christian sites here in Jerusalem. Uh, it's called the Garden Tomb. It's just right behind and actually there was a lot of border policemen there uh protecting uh just standing guard at, at the on the, at the aisle going up to uh to the garden tomb just before i arrived uh walking on the street there four of these guard, border police guards just came chasing down the street and uh, they arrested someone and uh i was like what's going on and everybody was looking but you know everything calmed down and i went into the garden tomb and um uh, just a beautiful place and there was a, this Christian group singing some of my favorite songs so I just enjoyed it uh, and I walked all the way back up to take the train from Damascus Gate more police had actually arrived, arrived by Damascus Gate at that time but what I want to say is that when I walked up and uh, I'm gonna go to wait for the train there are these three big guys sitting on a bench and when I um, passed by them they said hi and one of them stood up like a gentleman and said please sit down and I said well thank you very much that's very nice of you and uh, and he said are you on vacation and I said no I actually live here uh, I'm a, a Danish blogger I try to share the news what's going on in the media and he actually said oh maybe I shouldn't say anything then I said why why who are you and uh, and he actually said, we are, we work on the Golan Heights. We are with the United Nations. We're just on a leave. So we're here in Jerusalem. And they all had bought big blankets, probably cold up there. And I said, well, that's nice. And uh, we started to talk about what's going on here. And then the train comes. So we go sit inside the train. And it turns out they're from Fiji. And uh, they're taking selfies in the train. And they're really nice. And then on the next train stop, a police officer came in and he walked straight uh, towards me and he sat just in front of me and he said, Hi, do you remember me? And I was looking at him and he said, Damascus Gate? 
I was your police escort and then all of a sudden I remembered him and you probably remember uh, a couple of months ago when there, there was really high tension and on Fridays, uh, Muslims, uh, the guys under 50 were not allowed to pray on the Temple Mount. So they had, they went down to uh, the Damascus Gate and they were praying on the streets. And all the media from all over the world were there every Friday. This happened for about three fr Fridays in a row. So I went down there and the police had blocked everything off. But this one police officer came up to me saying, you know, well, you want to go over there? Okay, I can be your police escort and I can protect you and show you around. And now all of a sudden he was sitting there in front of me on the train two months later saying, hey, you remember me? And I said, yes, I remember you. And he said, so you're still doing your thing? And I said, yes, I just came from Damascus Gate. So we had a good talk and he was, it's so funny to see you again. He's such a nice guy. And uh, so I had to get off the train. So I'm saying goodbye to my police officer and these guys from the United Nations. And I was just smiling and it was just one of these days, you know, I left my house, I had a headache, I go down and I have all these encounters and uh, got a few videos made and uh, came home and I did my laundry and uh, can I just say Jerusalem is such a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city and to see all the tourists and the garden tomb and the tourists move around, it's just wonderful to see. And I want to say don't be afraid to come to Israel, do not be afraid to come to Israel. It's safe. We got the best police. We get the best army in the world. Nothing will happen when if you come here as a tourist. So this is just Jerusalem. Jane want to share a little bit about my day because I have a lot of people saying, Jane, I love your videos. I love what you what happens to you every day. Um, I like to hear what's happening in Israel and I pray for you every day. So I just I would like to share once in a while a little bit more personal about what happened to me and who do I meet? Because I know you enjoy this and, and, and I know you pray for me. So you need to to be filled in on what's going on uh, here for me in Jerusalem. So yeah, uh, Shabbat is almost here and I need to go do my last bit of shopping. So this is just Jerusalem Jane saying, thank you very much for praying for me. Thank you for your love and for your encouragement. And Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem. Bye.